Let's take a moment and reflect on our daily grind. You know how it goes. Constantly chasing deadlines, multitasking to the max, and often cutting back on sleep to squeeze in a few more hours of work. It's a relentless pace that can leave us feeling utterly drained and perpetually on the hunt for productivity hacks. But here's a thought. What if the real key to boosting our performance and well-being isn't about pushing ourselves harder, but rather about learning to value and effectively utilize rest? We're going to dive into the perspectives of three thought leaders, Beck Heinrich, Jordan Peterson, and Daniel Goleman. They're shaking up the traditional corporate mindset with a fresh take on how rest plays a crucial role in our professional lives. It's an eye-opening journey into the importance of stepping back and how it can dramatically influence our efficiency, mental sharpness, and overall health. First up, let's hear from Beck Heinrich. As the CEO of Rising Generations, a nonprofit social enterprise dedicated to nurturing leaders who prioritize people over progress, she offers a unique take on how our cultural attitude towards constant activity might be doing more harm than good to our inner selves. Her insights might just change the way you think about your daily hustle. Let's see what she has to say, shall we? I think we need to stop applauding leaders who are working 18 hours a day and who are burnt out and start promoting and encouraging and affirming a culture of rest. We need to slow down in order to speed up. I know this might sound crazy, but we need to slow down in order to accelerate. I think in Western culture, we pride ourselves on being busy. And yet, interestingly, in the Chinese language, the word busy is made up of two parts. The first word is for the word heart, and the second is for the word killing or perishing. Now, this might not be fully linguistically correct, but just think about this for a minute. Heart and killing, or killing heart. When we are busy, when we have that doing disease, when we're running fast, we are literally killing our hearts. We are killing the very essence, the inner part of our being. I've learned that I just can't be all things to all people always. And I find it so fascinating that we're called human beings, and yet, honestly, I think so many of us treat ourselves like human doings. Mahatma Gandhi said, there has to be more to life than simply increasing its speed. I think athletes get this concept of rest more than most. Michael Jordan, arguably one of America's greatest ever athletes, in his career, used to average 38 minutes a game on court playing and 10 minutes a game on the bench resting. For more modern day fans, Steph Curry currently has spent 34 minutes a game on the court and 14 minutes a game on the bench resting. Athletes get this idea that they need to have an on season and an off season and they need to cultivate this rhythm of resting, training, competing, resting, training, competing. And they realize that both work and activity and rest and renewal are both necessary for sustained high performance. Jordan Peterson has seen firsthand how vital it is to step back and take breaks, even in the midst of a hectic schedule. According to Peterson, Canadian psychologist and author, it's these moments of rest that can actually be the secret ingredient to ramping up our productivity. Let's unpack his insights and see how they might apply to our own busy lives. One of my clients, she bought a new microwave because it, she could microwave her coffee in 10 seconds instead of 20 seconds in the morning. Like, I mean, her life was scheduled. She's hyperproductive. And a lot of these people struggled, as you might expect, with work-life balance, that cliche. And one of the things I learned quite rapidly was that I could get these people to schedule out vacations two or three months in advance because they couldn't work fewer hours a day. The competition was just too intense. If they scheduled three months ahead, they could take three or four days and then they could do that. And what we invariably found was they became more productive. All right. So we're on the same page now about the importance of rest for boosting productivity. But here's a question. What does taking a rest actually look like in practice? It's not just about catching a few extra Z's, right? This is where Daniel Goleman steps in. You might know him as the psychologist behind the New York Times bestseller, Emotional Intelligence. Goleman offers some really practical, hands-on techniques aimed at revitalizing both your mind and body. Let's find out how Goleman's techniques can be seamlessly integrated into our lives. 
fact, we all need a period when when we do restore. For example, one thing that restores the brain, it turns out, is this uh, focusing on the breath. It's a neutral thing. It doesn't take a lot of mental effort. keeps us focused, but it also is a time when the brain is resting, going for a walk, playing. All of these activities are part of the human repertoire for a good reason. They actually are helping the brain restore itself. Now let's take a step back and think about how we're balancing our work and rest. It's crucial, especially in a world that's always on the go. Remember, managing your energy is key. Without it, all the time in the world won't make a difference. You might be great at scheduling work, but have you ever thought about scheduling rest just as deliberately? It's a simple truth. If you don't plan for rest, it's likely to be overlooked, just like any other task or responsibility. Enter the time flow system a time management approach crafted by the Lifehack team. This isn't just about getting things done. It's about making sure you're also carving out essential time for breaks and rest. So how does this system work? Let me break it down for you. First, we've got the North Stars. These aren't just goals. They're major life aspirations. They guide you, give you direction. Your North Stars should be consistent, your constant guiding lights. Think of something like maintain energy throughout the day, as a North Star for rest. Then, initiatives. These are your steps towards your North Stars. They're your milestones, packed with plans and actions for specific, measurable achievements. Let's say your initiative is regular movement breaks, perfectly in line with maintaining daily energy. And finally, focus blocks. This is where the rubber meets the road. Focus blocks are about action. They're your dedicated time slots for each initiative. Here, you decide on the actions and the time you'll commit. For instance, blocking out time for those regular movement breaks. These blocks are well-planned, prioritized, and flexible enough to fit into your day. Focus blocks help you inch closer to your North Stars, helping you regain control of both your time and energy. Curious to try the time flow system for yourself? Check out the info button above or tap the link below. All right, let's recap what we've talked about today. Beck Heinrich hit home with her point about rethinking our hustle culture. Like those top athletes who balance intense training with essential downtime, we too need to recognize the power of taking a breather. It's not just about doing more, it's about being smart in how we do it. Jordan Peterson showed us that scheduling breaks and vacations can genuinely boost our productivity. It's a practical tip that we can start applying right now to find that sweet spot between hard work and well-deserved rest. Daniel Goleman gave us easy-to-adopt techniques like focusing on our breath or taking leisurely walks. Simple stuff, but surprisingly powerful in recharging our batteries. And the time flow system, this isn't just another productivity gimmick. It's a real game-changer. It's about setting those North Stars as your big goals, breaking them down into actionable initiatives, and then tackling them in manageable focus blocks. This system is a fantastic way to make sure you're not only getting stuff done, but also taking care of yourself by scheduling in those much-needed rest periods. So there you have it. In a world that's always buzzing, remember that pausing to rest is absolutely essential. Why not give the time flow system a shot and see how it can help balance your work and rest? Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. Until next time.